systemic examination approaches for systemic examination prerequisites you must have to stand on the right side of the patient even if you are taking the history or presenting a case place should be clean neither to warm nor to cold ensure privacy and silence well lighted either by daylight or powerful artificial lights comfort of the patient or subject should be given priority removal of clothing for the examinations avoid normal abnormal words during systemic examinations and try to describe actual findings when a male doctor doing a systemic examination of a female patient one female attendance is must so that is the most important thing every male doctor should take in their mind so these all are the prerequisites of the systemic examination methods of clinical examination or the systemic examination there are four methods or four steps of the systemic examination inspection palpation percussion and auscultation so first of all inspection inspection should start as soon as the patient enters the room inspect physical form the situation size shape surface contour and form color and hue everything you have to inspect you do not need to touch the patient only you have to inspect it's art of observation and you have to observe the different type of movements of their body parts as well as the respiratory movements chest movements abdominal movement etc so this is the inspection part where you have only have to observe the patient or inspect the patient but you do not need to touch your patient now second one palpation examiner's hand should be clean with the trimmed nails with flat of the palm by touch you have to do this palpation for superficial palpation light pressure is sufficient where heavy pressure is required for filling the deeper structures so whenever you palpate the superficial part you have to apply the light pressure but whenever you palpate the deeper structures for example organs in case of abdominal system then you have to apply the heavy pressure the information on the temperature tenderness physical form and rhythm direction and force of movements so you have to palpate all these things in this palpation section and what is tenderness tenderness is the pain on touch there are two different type of pains whenever we have a injury over some of the area the pain will be continuous even if we touch or do not touch the pain is still present but in certain injuries the pain is not always present but whenever we try to touch this injured area then and only we feel the pain so that is the tenderness tenderness means pain on touch now the percussion percussion means tapping or giving impact and a sound is heard which is due to audible vibrations set up in the body by the impact and resistance due to equal and opposite reaction of the impact which creates vibrations on the fingers which is felt by the examiner so it little bit complicated but simply you have to percuss how to percuss the impact is given by the finger usually the tip of the middle finger the percussion stroke is given on the finger middle phalanx of the middle finger of the left hand which is placed on the body surface of the patient the finger used to feel the percussion is known as pleximeter and the finger used for giving the impact is called plexer the finger which is used to feel the percussion is known as pleximeter and the finger which used for giving the impact is called plexer percussion should be carried out by flexion and extension of the wrist joint of the plexer only with the minimum movement of the elbow and no movement of the shoulder of the examiner 
so you only have to do the percussion movement by the movement of the wrist joint only now i am showing you the method of percussion the finger which you put over the body surface part is known as pleximeter and the finger via which you are making an impact over the middle phalanx of the middle finger which touches the body it is known as plexer so simply the finger which touches the body surface of the patient it is known as pleximeter and the finger via which we are giving the impact it is known as plexer this is how you have to percuss percussion notes there are three types of percussion notes first one tympanic second one resonant and third one dull note tympanic note this type of note is given by hollow viscera which filled with gas while percussing over the abdomen you will find the tympanic note resonant note viscous compartments like lungs in which air is trapped in tiny compartments which gives a resonant note of the sound so that is the resonant note whenever you try to percuss over the right intercostal spaces then you will find the resonant note and it is present over the lung dull note solid viscera containing no air and made up of soft fleshy material containing fluid or hard bones gives a note which is described as dull note so dull note whenever you try to percuss over the solid structures for example different type of bones and uh, liver kidney then you will find the dull note over the heart you will also find the dull note on the left intercostal spaces but inside the abdominal cavity or anywhere in the right chest cavity percussion whenever you find some dull note it may be possibility of the developing of the solid tumor inside the structures of the abdominal cavity as well as the lungs so the percussion notes there are three types tympanic note resonant note and dull note all right now the fourth part is the auscultation auscultation is an art of listening by this method sounds of body are heard using the stethoscope which is placed on the area to be examined appreciation of the various sounds which heard through a stethoscope is a matter of practice and is acquired by repeated practice with keen interest so this line is important appreciation of the various sounds which heard through a stethoscope is a matter of practice and is acquired by repeated practice with keen interest so we have to do the auscultation with the help of stethoscope so this instrument is known as stethoscope this is the ear piece this is the chest piece and that is the rubber tube that is the ear piece which have to plug inside our ear and the direction should be forward and medial the direction should be forward and medial forward and medial all right because the external auditory canal runs in this direction which is forward and medial so whenever you try to plug this ear piece inside your ear please check that it is the for in the direction of forward and medial clear chest piece having the two parts one is the diaphragm part and second one is the bell part so diaphragm part mostly we are using to hear the all of the normal as well as abnormal body sounds and this bell part mostly we are using for the hearing of the fetal heart sounds in the pregnant woman i hope everyone now understood about the basic format of the history taking and general examination as well as the different type of general science and systemic examination in detail